This is a fourth day now of a sell-off uh, in BTPs. I think we've hit a four-year high or something like that on the 10-year yield. We saw it jump 15 basis points yesterday, up significantly today. Does JP Morgan see an opportunity in BTPs here? Not yet. Not yet. Um, I know on the first day, you know, there was a lot of commentary about, oh, you know, contagion is quite muted for now. Um, but we were pushing back because when you actually see how assets were reacting, correlations were there. Mm. Uh, you saw the euro react on that headline deficit number. Um, and right now the rhetoric doesn't seem to be dialing down. So we're, we've, we have quite a way before this budget is approved or a version of the budget is approved. And I think the negotiation timeline between now and then will be very, very fraught with headlines. It's certainly going to be fraught with headlines. I mean, just those ones that I brought to our viewers this morning in terms of Mr. Borgie saying France would have been saved and that our problems would have been fixed with their own currency. But Juncker using the phrase Greece in the same sentence as Italy. UBS were with us just a short time ago and they basically pointed out that this system is much more robust. It's in much better shape than it was at the time of the Greek crisis. But that's not going to stop a bust up. Where do these yields go to before you step in as a high of JP Morgan Asset Management? When does it tempt Diana Amoa. Well, where you buy depends on where you think the story is going. Um, I think for a budget deficit, 2.4%, uh, with actually the best of growth in Europe for now seemingly behind us, and an ECB that's no longer buying, spreads at around 280, 290, still aren't attractive enough for us to step in. 